Is anybody as sick as I am of free speech and freedom of thought being under attack from extremist activists? These left-wing lunatics will come at you no matter what you say or do. And it's not just on Twitter, oh no. Go to a college campus, but be warned, you're probably going to get spit on at least. Just ask Alex Stein, who of course is a professional troll, who likes to go around these places and rile people up and expose them for their insanity and hypocrisy, and now he just got spit on by one of these absolute freaks. On the anniversary of his mother's sad passing because of government protocols. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will, see what I did there, and I'm not very happy about this news because I am already sick and tired of this without having to read about things like this happening to people who I think are funny and who deserve to be able to go about their business and say whatever they fucking want. Let's have a look at this. Daily Mail Online. Shocking moment Penn State student spits on conservative activist. Campus comedy event by Proud Boys founder Gavin McGuinness is cancelled after protests erupt. Because it's always protests. These people truly believe that they are somehow on the right of everything. That they, that they are fighting for actual justice. No, they are fighting for social justice, which is an organized campaign of brainwashing that has resulted in the culture war as we know it. And I'm sick of not just saying it. Okay, let's read. Proud Boys founder Gavin McGuinness and professional troll, yep, Alex Stein was scheduled to headline a comedy event at Penn State University titled Stand Back and Stand By on Monday evening. The event was protested by Penn State after it was first announced earlier this month. It's always the students. This is how it came to this, by the way. This isn't a new thing. This has been going on for decades and decades. That's how it got to this point. That's how everybody in every executive position with every little sad degree that they've got has been radicalized by the left. This is it. This is what you are looking at. The result of decades of this kind of crap. As protesters gathered at the event venue, one Penn State student was recorded yelling at Stein, I effing hate you, before spitting on him. Later, Alex uh, Stein and McGuinness were recorded hurriedly escaping the scene into a waiting car under a police escort. Well, fair enough, because it's absolutely ridiculous that you can't go and say, okay, we're gonna make some jokes at the expense of the state. Right? Everybody hates this. Everybody who isn't on Twitter or in university hates this. Eventually, these people, they, a lot of them, they grow up, they get into the real world, they find out that everything they've been taught is a lie. And they end up becoming people like Kerry Smith, who, who are ex-leftists, who are out there saying that this is a scam. This is an organized enclave. This is why the left can only see the world in that way. That's why they think that the, the alt-right or far-right or whatever exists. It doesn't. It's called freedom. Free people. Free thinkers. And you'll always be welcome here, like it says in my logo. But these people, they see the world as an attack on them, constantly. Like an organized attack on their freedom. Because that's what they are. They've been trained to think in absolutes. And so they can only think in absolutes. They cannot see that there are people out there who don't care about their stupid causes. They want them to shut up forever and just go away. But now, people who come out and try to make light of it, unlike I'm doing right now, they go out there like Alex Stein and crack jokes to shine a light on how silly this all is. Kind of like what I did with my Calling the Critics Racist video. And I got a lot of comments from people who just didn't get that it was a joke. That it was just there to question the line of thinking on the other side. He goes out there, makes some jokes, trolls a few people, fair enough. Gets spit on. Now I know that sounds like it's not very much. But it is. What if it wasn't spit? What if it was like mace? What if it was an attack with a hammer? These people are being defended by their colleges for their right to assault people for disagreeing with them. It's disgusting. Here we go. Self-proclaimed professional troll Alex Stein called a female who spat on him at a Penn State uh, a Penn State cutie after a comedy event featuring him and Proud Boys founder Gavin McGuinness was cancelled at the school. Cancelled. Of course it was. Comedy's not allowed to exist anymore either. Because it's punching down. 
Take the lumps. That's how you grow. Officials at Penn State were forced to cancel the event, forced at the 11th hour after Steiner McGuinness attracted an army of protesters who eventually forced the provocateurs to flee the scene on Monday night. God, all these stupid adverts keep popping up. I hate the Daily Mail. In a brief statement, Penn State officials said that due to the threat of escalating violence associated with tonight's event, Penn State University police determined that it was necessary to cancel the speaking event in the interest of campus safety. But that's not what this crazy woman said. She was the one saying that Alex Stein makes her feel unsafe. Oh, really, honey? Are you sure about that? You feel unsafe. Well, you certainly feel safe enough to gob all over someone like a disgusting little animal. In the shocking video, Stein can be heard telling the protester, you're my favorite, repeatedly. The protester tells him, you are the reason that I feel unsafe in this town. You are the fucking reason that we're all here today. You are the reason people feel unsafe in this country. I fucking hate you. Hate. Hmm. Funny how that's what we get accused of. He says, I love you. I think you're a nice woman. That prompts the student to spit on Stein. He yells down the camera, whoa, she spit on me. He tells her, I like that fetish and that turns me on. <laughs> Alex Stein is a consummate professional. He later tweeted, Penn State shut down my speech on campus today. Free speech doesn't exist for conservatives. Exactly. Stein and McGuinness were recorded in a video posted by Penn State's Collegian newspaper hurrying into a waiting car with a police escort. Can you be surprised? Is that supposed to be a victory? Oh, you made some free people no longer free. They had to flee to a police car to avoid being, God knows, worse than spat on, I guess. This is your country, America. When are you going to do something about this? Because, okay, I don't live in America. I've never lived in America. I've been there, and I don't live in England either. I live in Asia. I'm far, far, far away from it. But believe me, I can see it. I can see my country, and this country, and America. And what happens in America happens everywhere else. What happens there will affect the rest of the world. And right now, freedom is losing. It's losing to psychos. Psycho brats. Do something about it. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd very much like to hear your thoughts. Leave a like on it. And subscribe to the channel. Obviously, I'm pretty fired up about this. I think this is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Anti-human. For shame. This woman should be behind bars. Absolutely. Fuck around and find out. You get what you deserve. Alex Stein should press charges. Sure, it wouldn't exactly be in keeping with his image. But it might make others think twice. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll be back a bit later with another video for you. But until then, see you next time.